You ready to fight? Ready. All right, so here we go with Sean O'Malley and Marlon Chito Vera. It seemed an eventuality after they met for the first time in 2020 that they would fight again. And tonight it's an opportunity for Sean O'Malley to avenge his only career loss today. Yeah, you know, it was surprising when these two fought the first time. These two fought the same night I fought Steve Miocic. So I was in the locker room watching these two compete and thinking to myself, it's amazing that they're matching them up right now. You had two young fighters who seem to be right on the verge of breaking up. Marlon Vera has has used that as a springboard to bigger and better things. And Sean O'Malley lost nothing in fight one. But the only way to make it better for O'Malley is to get a victory tonight. He intends to do just that. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area. And now he's dealing with a cut. All right, well, things are getting critical now. A lot of damage, a lot of blood in and around. <laughs> Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive. This man is landing brutal ground and pound. That is it! So no judges needed tonight as he pounds him out for the TKO. I'm hoping I get an invite to the after. <laughs> well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop.